The colorman had spent his life in mixing paint buck colors, which soon persuaded his young wife that nothing could be duller. So when the chance to paint in oils one fateful day befell her, she left her husband to his toils for a more colorful feller. The colorman whose life was spent where color brightly blares had to live out his retirement on a board of 64 black and white squares. The white king late in life did take unto himself a queen attractive younger wife for his retirement a dream josiah amberly his name pursuit of chess his only game its role in his fate could not be foreseen onto the board a black king came as prelude to disaster dr ray ernest by name at dirty chess a master on the board his tactics shady also in pursuit of ladies no matter how they ran he could run faster the white queen soon succumbed in face of the black king's advance before the week was done the doctor got into her got her in romance in her heart a passion burnest importance of seeing her best meanwhile her josiah looked askance Suddenly fate was atoned, the lovers disappeared. The husband went to Sherlock Holmes, the sale of bonds he feared. The old white knight of Baker Street, with Bishop Watson flat of feet, began unraveling the story weird. The rival Barker, like a castle, was, for he got rooked. The husband sent to far off hassle, safely Sherlock looked. He found evidence of murder in the safe Josiah lured her. With her lover, then with gas he cooked. Amberly tried suicide, but for his trial lived on. The game in which opponents died served to make him a pawn. What have we learned from this tale? Can we avoid this fate? In love and chess, do without fail. Be sure to check your